Hello friends, <clears throat> the objective of this lesson is to solve one uh, merit and excellence question of NCA level 2 maths. Now, this question was asked in 2009. Okay, now this is the question. The equation x squared plus y squared minus 10x is equal to 0 represents a circle. And the straight line y is equal to 2x minus 5 uh, intersects the circle. So what you're saying is this is a line. Okay, so this is a sketch of the, uh, of the line. So we know the gradient is phi and the y-intercept is negative phi. So I've drawn a rough sketch of the line. So this line is y is equal to 2x minus phi. Okay. And this is a circle. Okay, and this is a circle. So these, the circle and the line are intersecting. That's what they say. Find the point or the points of intersection of the line and the circle. You must show this algebraically and show all working. Now, I'll show you. Uh, we'll first do this algebraically and then we'll use the graphic calculator to check our answer. So this circle, the equation of this circle, they have said is x squared plus y squared minus 10x. Now when you come to uh, next year, uh, when you do calculus next year, uh, you can know how to write the center and the radius from this equation. So the focus is not the center and the radius. Okay. So here, what we have done is, okay, I'll show you how to do algebraically. So our focus is to do it algebraically first. So uh, this is the first equation x squared plus y squared minus 10x is equal to 0, and this is the second equation. So I can say, well, if y is equal to 2x minus 5, can I substitute 2x minus 5 in place of y? Okay, so, so I can say, yes, I can. So I've got two equations. This is the circle equation, and this is the line equation. So what I have done in the next step is, in place of y, I have substituted 2x minus 5. So in place of x squared plus y squared, this becomes x squared plus uh, 2x minus 5. This is your y because y is 2x minus 5. The whole squared minus 10x, so you can see this minus 10x here, is equal to 0. Okay. So now I know 2x minus 5, the whole squared, is 2x minus 5 times 2x minus 5. Okay, so that if I expand this, so 2x times 2x is 4x squared, uh, then you've got minus 10x, minus 10x is minus 20x, and negative 5 times negative 5 is plus 25, and this minus 10. So uh, if I simplify this, so 2x x squared plus 4x squared gives me 5x squared. This is negative 20x minus 10x gives me minus 30x and this 25 comes here okay now i can factor out phi because you've got a phi here phi here so if you if you factor out a phi you get x squared sorry phi times okay by the way this sign is called therefore okay, so therefore phi bracket x squared minus 6x plus phi is equal to zero and the next step what i've done is i've divided this side by phi and so I have to divide this side by 5. So when you divide both sides by 5, this 5 and this 5 gets cancelled. So this is a simple quadratic equation. So you should be knowing how to factorize this. So we go, which are the two numbers, or uh, which are the two factors of 5, which adds to give you negative 6. So I know negative 5 times negative 1 is 5 and negative 5 plus negative 1 is equal to negative 6. So that's how I factorize this. So that's x minus 5 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. Then I have to set this is equal to 0 and this is equal to 0. So when I set this equal to 0, I can say x should be a 5 because 5 minus 5 is a 0. 
and when I set this equal to 0, I can say x is equal to 1. So, we got two values of x, x is equal to 1, sorry, phi, and x is equal to 1. So, we need to find the y value because we want to find the points of intersection. So, what do we know about y or what's the relation between x and y? So, we know x is equal to 2x minus phi because this is given, okay? So, in place of x, I can substitute the value of so in place of x, I can put this phi and 1. So that's what I've done. So I can add gone y is equal to 2 times phi because 2 times x take away phi. So this is 10 take away phi. Oops, I done a mistake here. So this should be phi. 10 take away phi is phi. Okay. Uh, it's always good to check. 5 times 2 times 5 is 10, take away 5 is 5, yeah. And 2 times 1 is 2, take away 5 is negative 3. So this will also change to 5. So the point of intersections are 5, 5, and 1, negative 3. So let me show this. So this point is 5, 5, 5, comma 5. And this point this point is 1, negative 3, and it does make sense. Now I'm going to show you how you can check your answer on a graphic calculator. You all should be having a graphic calculator. Okay, now, this is a circle equation. So if I take 10x and x squared on the other side, can I write this equation as y squared is equal to 10x minus x squared? Okay, now if I take, if I want to remove the square, I have to take the square root. So you should be knowing that it is plus or minus. So y is equal to plus or minus square root of 10x minus x squared. And this is the, uh, the equation of the line. Okay, so I'm going to bring my calculator out. So this is my graphic calculator. And now this, I can't... Uh, type in both the equations. So what I'm going to do, uh, go to your equation, okay, and, oh, sorry, you have to go to your graph, not equation, sorry. If you go to graph, and I'm going to type in square root of positive, square root of, I don't need to write the positive, so I'll go shift, square root, bracket, 10x minus x squared okay now this calculator by default has a scale of negative six to six on x axis and negative three and three on y axis so i want to change the scale to standard which is from negative 10 to 10 on both the axes so can you see the x minimum is negative 10 x maximum is 10 the scale of one don't worry about the dot x minimum is 10, y minimum, maximum is 10, and the scale of 1. And the second equation is 2x minus 5. And uh, let me draw it. Okay. Okay. What did I do? Oh, yeah. Oops. Oh. I thought this equation is 10x. 10x minus x squared. Yeah, there we go. So this, when you when you type in the positive square root, it shows the upper upper part of the circle. So this is the upper part of the circle, and this is the line. And I want to find this point of intersection. So I go G sol and intersection. That is F phi. So there we go. One point is phi phi. That's confirmed. And I want to draw the a circle which is underneath it, which it has got a negative sign. So what I'll do is I'll put minus square root. Yeah, that's fine. And so this is the the second half of the circle. So this point should be negative one three. So let me confirm. So G sol intersect. So one negative three. So we have confirmed our answer. So you should be getting a merit on excellence in this question if you do all these steps. Thank you very much.